Uh, it's Jordan Peters of Train by JP. Today I am filming my lower body second session of the Back to Basics split I've filmed throughout uh, the last couple of weeks. Um, prior to doing my leg session today, I'm just going to take you guys through what I like to use specifically in my peri workout shake. What that consists of is just pre, during, and post workout. Um, I like to I like to split these up into different sections. Um, prior to actually getting to the gym and then once I'm at the gym I then tend to just take everything in one go but like before training I actually split my pre-workout so some things have crossover with each other and they don't go well together so then you need to separate them um, so the first the first thing that I like to do this will be about 30 minutes pre-workout is I use two grams of agmatine um, this is a relatively new supplement um, but it shows some promise in its ability to increase nitric oxide production, similarly to arginine. Um, and this is actually a, it's a precursor to arginine. Um, Agmatine is a, a precursor to arginine. Um, and actually I like to use it in favour of arginine. Um, because, I mean, arginine's effectiveness is brought into question quite a lot. And it, it, it isn't as good as it originally first showed itself to be that I feel there are other supplements that you can use that are more effective so agmatine is the first one um, on top of that this is still 30 minutes pre I like to use uh, three grams of uh, beta alanine um, so what beta alanine does is this reduces fatigue as it, uh, it increases the body's carnosine levels um, what that does is it prevents the increase of hydrogen in the muscle. When hydrogen increases in the muscle, the pH level drops. And as soon as the pH level drops, um, the ability to effectively contract the muscle reduces. So that's like essentially lactic acid buildup. So better alanine is fantastic for that. Um, so that will be, I will take that as a separate shake, 30 minutes pre. So I'll leave that 10 minutes and I'll move on to my next one. My next one will be uh, creatine monohydrate. This will be five grams. Um, creatine is a fantastic supplement. It increases ATP. Um, how that works is that when creatine enters the body, it becomes creatine phosphate. Once the body hydrolyzes ATP to produce energy, it, uh, it becomes ADP. Once it becomes ADP, creatine phosphate donates its phosphate bond to recreate ATP, so then your overall ATP storage increases, which then increases your ability to, to perform anaerobic exercise for longer. Um, on top of that, I will then use glutamine, Glutamine plays a large role in, in cell hydration and immune support. On top of that, I then use taurine. Um, taurine is one of the ones that, that, that has to be kept separate to better alanine as they both use the same pathway. Um, taurine, again, is a fantastic supplement for, for cell volumization. Um, it controls the rate at which water enters and leaves the cell so it improves hydration of the cell a cell that is more hydrated can uptake nutrients more efficiently um, next is citrulline melee um, citrulline is a, a fantastic supplement as well and this actually metabolizes to form arginine so this in sync with agmatine is better than arginine in itself um, this as well boosts atp so again, in sync with creatine, these supplements have a great synergistic effect. So with this, I'm just using six grams. So that will be what I then take 20 minutes pre-workout. Uh, then when I hit the gym, this is when I then start to use my carbohydrate and aminos. Um, 
at the moment I'm using carbolin. I switch back and forth between carbolin and glycofuse. They're both extremely efficient carbohydrates. Um, this is due to the rate at which they pull water into the gut, it's very low. So how quick they hit the blood is, is, is high. Um, so how fast they will elevate insulin is high. Um, they cause minimal bloat, um, which, is, which is important if you're taking it during a workout. A lot of people that are using maltodextrin or dextrose will get bloating, which, which will put you off of your session. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm using carbolin. Um, my protein source, I'm using Pepto Pro, which is hydrolyzed casein. Again, um, due to its rates of hydrolysis, it hits uh, the blood extremely fast. Um, so that in sync with a, an efficient carbohydrate drives everything into the muscle more efficiently. I then top that up with the AAs, um, and at the moment I'm using Humipro, um, which again is a, a great supplement. Um, so that's how I like to divide what I'm doing across the workout. Um, so as I said, I take that half an hour pre, 20 minutes pre, and then just before I start is the carbohydrate and aminos. Um, and then I will sip that, that one throughout the whole session. And then I want to keep topping that with water as well, because you do still need quite large amounts of water to ensure you, you're able to deliver the nutrients to the muscle. Right, so to efficiently deliver everything, you need to be well hydrated. So make sure you are topping up your shaker with water. Um, Cool, so that's everything for the supplement section.